Hello, my friends. Today, we are talking about why setting clear expectations does not make you an asshole. All right. So here's the deal. There are for myself and for the people that I have worked with and continue to work with, there's some weird stuff we have. Weird baggage we have, weird stories in our head, beliefs, actions, behaviors around setting clear expectations with the people in our work and our lives for that matter. And it's just not, it's not serving us. It's just not. So I wanted to hop on here quickly to, to, to walk you through what I have seen get in the way of people setting clear expectations. And then also, why do we want to? Like, <laughs> why bother? Because there's some discomfort there, which we'll, we'll touch on a little bit. So what have I seen going on around people not being clear about their expectations? What do they need? When do they need it by? What is the standard that they're looking for? All of those things. Um, one of the sneakier ones in there is you don't actually believe you're worth it. You know, oh, well, who am I to tell them when it's due or, oh, like, I don't want to, I don't want to rock the boat. It, there's, there's this underlying story you have in your head that you're just not worth actually asking for what you need. So notice if that is going on for you because it is not helpful. It's keeping you small. It's keeping you small and it's also like making you dive into the resentment pool. Like, I can't believe they didn't get me that report by Friday. Did you ask for them to get it to you by Friday? Well, no, but they should have just known. No one should ever just know. Let's be very clear on that. No one will ever just know. That's not kind of, that's just not a thing. That's not a thing. Um, why else? So there's, <laughs> there's also one of, if I set a clear expectation, I have to do the uncomfortable grown up work of holding someone accountable to it. And that is so uncomfortable for so many of us that we don't even set the expectation in the first place because we don't want to deal with it if they don't do it. We don't want to have to follow up. We don't want to have to say, hey, you missed the, you missed the deadline. That's not okay. Let's talk about it. We don't want to do any of that. So like we avoid the whole area of setting expectations. Um, the other one that I've seen in there that you that might resonate with you is what will they think? What will people think? If I am clear about when I need it due by, will they think I'm high maintenance? Will they think I'm a bitch? Will they think that I'm, um, you know, too good for myself, like too high and mighty? Will, you know, we, we get very concerned about the perception if we communicate what we need. That's normal. That's human. You're not alone if you do that. You do need to start to notice a couple of things. One, you have no clue what their perception is of you. So to base your behaviors on something you've made up is probably not the best use of your energy. Um, And also the so what question. So what if they think you're high maintenance? I mean, okay. Let like, let them live their own life. You, You do not like you controlling what's going on, what their perceptions, their thoughts and their beliefs are. I mean, talk about a waste of time, but also let them do them. They're allowed to think you're high maintenance. That's okay. They're allowed to do that. They're allowed to think you are needy. They're allowed to think that you are, um, you know, whatever, the, whatever, you're, think you're too good for the role, like whatever the thing is that's going on in your head. If, if they even are thinking that, fine. That's fine. That's their, that's their business. That's not your business. So that is some things that I want you to just percolate on. Like, is any of that resonating with why you are avoiding setting expectations in the first place? The, what will people think that you don't actually think you're worth it or avoiding the whole discomfort, discomfort of, I now have to hold someone accountable for the thing they just agreed to. And that's really weird and awkward and scary. And I don't want to do it. So I don't set it in the first place. One of those are probably resonating a little bit. So that's why we don't do them. So given all that, given that setting clear expectations, I mean, yeah, they can be uncomfortable. So why do it? Okay, well, (laughs) there's a few reasons why I hope to convince you that this might be something to lean into. One, 
you need to, you need to give people a chance. And I don't mean give them a chance to show how great they are. I mean, give them a chance to say no, to say, no, I can't do it by that date. No, this is not my top priority. No, I can't juggle all these things. Give people the opportunity to have a conversation with you before they disappoint you, right? Like be a couple of grownups together and give them the chance to say, actually, no, I can't. I can't have it done by Friday or no, that's not an option or fine. I can, but we need to talk about what I'm deprioritizing then. Give people a chance. Like they're trying to do their thing too. So, (laughs) so give them the chance to do it. So that's one. The other big one, number two, um, you got to get it like it takes up invaluable brain space, stewing, ruminating on it. Are they going to have it done? I wonder when they're going to have it done by. They haven't said anything. They haven't updated me today. Like, oh, I wonder, should I follow up? When should I follow up by? I mean, if I follow up by Thursday, that might be a little bit too soon, but then they would know. And then maybe they'll have it by Friday if I just casually check in on Thursday and like, you know, like you've got more important things to do, my friend. It doesn't need to be taking up brain space. Set the expectations up front. And then when it's due by Thursday or the update is due by Wednesday and you check in with them, that's fine because you don't have to stew about like, should I check in or shouldn't I? Or like, well, what would, what was the agreement? Did they say it was going to be done? It's already all agreed. You don't need to be like stewing on it. Your brain is too valuable. It's got other things to do. All right. Clear that out. Um, this one's a little bit, you know, someone's going to roll their eyes, but it's worth saying because you're worth it. Like show yourself, show your own brain that you're worth communicating your needs, that you're worth explaining to people what you need done by, that you're worth declaring what will help you. Um, If you're not doing that for yourself, why is anyone else going to do it? Why are you just like hoping that maybe someone will know you need it by, by Friday? You're worth more than that. So just be clear about it. You know, and the other thing too of why, (laughs) the most obvious one I think, but we sometimes forget about why we communicate and set clear expectations with people is because you have them anyways. You already do want it by Friday. You just haven't told them. You haven't given them a chance to say no or to communicate with you back whether that's possible or not. You haven't, you know, so now it's on your mind, like all the things we're talking about. So now... You know, you're not showing yourself and others that you're worth asking for what you need, but you still have the expectation anyways. It's still there. You still want it by Friday. So just put it out there and see what happens. Okay, my friends, these are a few things around setting clear expectations. It does not make you an arsehole. In fact, I would argue not setting them is more likely to lead to arsehole behavior resentment, passive aggressive comments, following up and the person had no clue that you even wanted it as a rushed priority. Those things are way more likely to go into the arsehole column. So set the expectations, have the grown up conversations. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But I mean, this stuff's uncomfortable anyways. You might as well do it with some clear expectations up front. All right, my friends, I hope that gave you some food for thought. As always, please let me know what you're going to try so I can cheerlead you. And uh, any questions about this, uh, drop a comment or send me a message and I'll see how I can help you out. Bye for now, my friend.